pals, it going y'all, Rowdy Riles, coming at you with more Star Wars Black Series. We had my pile of loot come in and we got a bunch of stuff. And one of the last things we got was Sabine Wren from Ahsoka. I do have the Rebels version, but this version is so much cooler because it's live action. I do want to get Morgan Elsbeth and Ezra Bridger and Thrawn when they make him. I want all of the Ahsoka characters. I want Ahsoka the White. Spoilers, but the show's over. It's been like two weeks at this point, so... Wah. Um, when I'm recording this at least. Don't know when it's gonna go up. But yeah, with all that being said, let's take a close look at the box and we'll get this bad girl open. Taking a look at the box, we have Star Wars The Black Series. There is Sabine in the box. As you can see, we're back to that old window packaging, which is great. Star Wars Ahsoka Sabine Wren. On the side, we've got some nice artwork of Sabine. I forget the actress's name, but it does look like her, so that's cool. On the back, we have Star Wars The Black Series Sabine Wren. It does not say anything about the character, just the show. Set after the fall of the Empire, Ahsoka follows former Jedi Knight Ahsoka Tano as she investigates an emerging threat to a vulnerable galaxy. And that artwork is continued on the box. She is number three in the Ahsoka wave. Just... Uh, empty window on this side, Star Wars The Black Series, and with all of that being said, let's get this bad girl open. So, Big Red Toy Store only had substandard grade for their shipping, so the box is already messed up. So we're just gonna tear it right open. Like I said, they're trash to me anyway, except for certain circumstances. And there is Sabine out of the cardboard. She looks great, super excited to have her. And here is Sabine Wren, the unlikeliest Jedi out of the box. She looks really cool. My only complaint is she has no thigh cut. What's up with that? What, why, why did you take the thigh cut away, Hasbro? That's a very important part of articulation. But the details are great, the accessories are great, the paint is great, she's a great looking figure. I'm super stoked to have a live action Sabine. The actress did a really great job. And um, as you can see, Hasbro did a really good job with the paint details on the armor. It's, uh, it's got the colorful stripes that Sabine is known for, her artistic paint work. The, the guns are, we'll go over the accessories later, but um, she's a very nicely detailed figure, down to her toes, up to the top of her head. And the helmet is, of course, removable. It's a little loose, but that's okay. Um, she's still an awesome figure. Other than that lack of thigh cut, that's kind of annoying. Checking out Sabine's height, she stands at, let me get the trusty tape measure out. She stands at five and five and a quarter inches. So she's a little shorty, but that's okay. Sabine's not that tall. Next, we are going to check out her accessories. So first of all, of course, she's a Mandalorian, so she comes with her helmet. Her helmet that she painted herself, um, because that's what Sabine does. She's always painted her armor differently, and it looks different than it did in Rebels, uh, season one, two, three, and four. So that's cool. We get a new look for her, and that helmet is cool. It's a little bit loose, though. It fits on the head, but uh, it's a little loose. It just kind of wobbles there, so you gotta push it down a little bit. She didn't wear it most of the show anyway, but it does fit on her head. Then of course she comes with her two standard Mandalorian blasters, but she painted them herself. We got a yellow one and we got a blue one and they've got some black on the handles as well. So those are painted nicely, nicely detailed. Uh, we've seen these many, many times. And then lastly, she gets Ezra slash her lightsaber and uh, the hilt is painted nicely. It's a nice shade of silver. We got the black on there and then the blade is really thick, which I appreciate. Like this is a thick peg plastic hard to break um, and it is shaped specifically to fit into the lightsaber one way as you can see I did it wrong the first way but it slots right in there and that's it for her accessories all right so let's go over the articulation we are going to start at the head which is on that new system that Hasbro uses pretty widely we've got a separate neck joint separate head joint so she can move forward backward side to side you can turn her head even so good articulation on that part um, coming up to her shoulders, they do not, they do, they do not have a butterfly joint, which is unfortunate, uh, but they do go up pretty far, single joint. This one's a little tight for me. Uh, we do get a swivel there at the, um, at the, uh, elbow as well. Coming down there is a swivel at the wrist, but it is up down peg on that side and same on this side. So that's good. Coming down to the, uh, ab, we don't have any crunch. We just have a, a ball bell barbell down at the bottom so forward that far back that far side to side there is no waist cut we do not get a thigh cut legs come up that far back that far to the side that far a uh, single hinge so no butt kicking action we do get a boot cut no we don't yes we do cool we get a boot cut we also get a swivel at the knee and then we get rockers on the ankles so a bit step back 
on some parts. Like I said, no butterfly joint, no thigh cut, which is strange, but uh, she still articulates well. It's just like, don't take articulation away. You add that, you don't take it. First up for scale and comparison, I'll just do this one by itself. Here's Sabine with Sabine. Um, as you can see, the Rebels version of Sabine is significantly taller than the live action version, which is kind of strange, but uh, I also have Ahsoka. Here she is with Ahsoka from Amando uh, and Ahsoka, of course, her master and Sabine's from Padawan. And then we have the Rebels Ahsoka and Ezra Bridger, which are both also too tall. But that's fine, because they're from their own thing and it's animation live action, which I'm glad we're getting these characters because they are some of my favorites. Rebels is a fantastic show. If you have not seen it, you need to watch it. It's essential Star Wars. Here she is with Grand Admiral Thrawn and Bo-Katan Kryze because they know each other. She's the one who gave Bo-Katan the Darksaber in the first place in Rebels. So like I said, it's essential Star Wars. Sabine had the Darksaber for a while. For some Indiana Jones Adventure series, here she is with the Grail Knight and Walter Donovan, both from the end of The Last Crusade. Second favorite indie movie. But Ahsoka is my first favorite live action Star Wars show. Here she is with the Jada Toys Chun Li and the Foosh Articulated Icons martial artist Sikat. She's shorter than both of them, obviously. Here she is with SH Figure Arts Harley Quinn and Shin Ultraman. Here she is with Power Rangers Lightning Collection and Marvel Legends comic book. Uh, comic book Marvel Legends. Sorry, I'm a little spacey when I'm filming this. I don't know what's going on with me. And for live action Marvel Legends, you've got your Deadpools and your Dominoes. And then last but not least, we've got some classified series with Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow. So that should do it for comparisons. Pretty good idea of her height. So with all that being said, y'all, I will say that Sabine Wren from Ahsoka is totally worth it because she's totally worth it to me. Uh, great to get more female figures, more Mandalorians, and more Jedi all in one. So that's a really big win. And if you think watching my content is a win, go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed so you can come back every week for my content and hit the like button down below if you like this video because that really helps me out with the algorithm. It lets me know what you guys want to see and what, what you like, obviously. And of course, comment down below. Let me know what you think of this figure. Let me know what you thought of Ahsoka. Let me know who you're excited to see from the show. Thrawn, the updated Ezra, all the cool stuff, uh, Enoch, all those cool figures. Comment down below. Let me know what you want to see, how your day is going. Just let me know what's up. I love you. I will see you next time, man. Bye-bye.